636, we check back in with 680 News and uh, Mike Apple over at 680 News. We're talking about business and we're talking about some high real estate prices. It looks like it may go up, not down next year. Yeah, that's the uh, talk from Royal LePage in with their uh, 2018 forecast for real estate prices here in the GTA. They did a, a survey for across Canada, but we'll, we'll focus on the Toronto market specifically, where after some uh, ebbs and flows this year, shall we say, in the uh, Toronto uh, real estate market because of new rules and regulations coming in, foreign buyers tax, and some mortgage stress test uh, uh, rules coming in on mortgage applications coming up uh, to start uh, 2018. Uh, prices have kind of moved around quite a bit this year. Next year, though, expected to be slower start and then accelerate through the year. Average prices up 6.8% to more than $900,000 and it is going to be the starter home segment and the condominium market, those lower priced entry level uh, markets for the most part, uh, seeing the most sales activity according to the Royal LePage forecast. Food prices expected to go up next year as well. A study by uh, the University of Guelph and Dalhousie University saying that the average family of four will spend about $350 more than they did this year on food prices in 2018. Now that is an across, uh, a cross section of where we actually spend our money to eat, specifically including uh, restaurants and prepared food prices. So if you want somebody else to do the cooking, Prices are going to be going up a little bit more than if you cook for yourself. So that's one way to keep the budget in line a little bit more. Uh, vegetable prices might be going up, but again, that is totally weather dependent. If you've got a drought condition in the United States, prices go up. If you've got uh, more seasonable uh, growing periods, then prices inevitably uh, hold relatively steady. Could see more records coming up today on Wall Street. Could depend on what the U.S. Central Bank has to say today on interest rates. The U.S. Federal Reserve is expected to raise its benchmark interest rate a quarter of a percent, third rate hike this year. It's kind of interesting that uh, even with uh, tightening of monetary policy and interest rates going up, stocks keep climbing. Yesterday, the Dow was up another 118 points at a record high. It's possibly going to hit 25,000 by year end. Started the year below the 20,000 threshold. It's been up 24% so far for 2017. The Toronto stock market uh, starts the day as well. Very close to an all-time record high. We'll send it back to the studio.